Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our F14B Tomcat and we're looking at the cold startup from the point of view of the pilot. Now bear in mind this is a grim Reaper startup so we strip it down to the bare bones and only do the things that we absolutely have to. We don't do any of the official checks and stuff like that. So let's get straight on with it. Number one, oxygen on. This little chap down here, incredibly hard to see and I can see him there and the switch is on. Next we have to turn our ground power and our ground air on. So going to press communications key, ground crew. Make sure you have your canopy open for this. Ground electric power on. Chief, turn on the ground power. Copy. Again, ground crew. Ground, ground air power on. Is now on. Connect Chief, here. Connect ground air supply. Copy. Ground air supply is now connected. Now we're in single player, so we don't have a human Rio, so we're going to have to get Jester to start his startup. So A key and start up. A key. Okay. ICS com check. So first he's going to check the uh, intercom. So A, loud and clear. Okay. Next we're going to arm our ejection seat. Uh, Jester is now doing the startup for the Rio in the back in tandem. Going to close our canopy, left control and C. I'm closing the canopy. <laughs> All right, let's start. Too late. Next, we're going to crank the right engine. So this switch down here, right click with the mouse and wait. We can see it's starting to turn now. Once it's up to this third mark here, then we are going to uncage the right throttle here by clicking left click on it. Make sure that your actual physical HOTAS throttle is in idle position. And now if that's worked, we the engine should spool and settle. Okay, we've settled at 70%. Next, we're going to crank the left engine. Left click. Follow the same procedure. Once it's settled on the third bar, we're going to left click on the left throttle. Make sure it's an idle. Wait for it to rise again. Everything's sounding good. Next, we are going to turn on all three switches of our stability augmentation, our SAS. Pitch, roll, and your. Next, we're going to turn on our screens, our HUD, our VDI, and a HSD. Out of interest, we're going to turn our HSD to TID so we can see the progress of Jester's alignment. And you can see here, this bar here is going to work, work its way along these dots here to the end. And that shows the rough progress of his alignment. And his alignment takes, I believe, seven minutes on the ground on the airfield or nine minutes, I believe it is, on a carrier. This can be lowered to about two minutes if we set in the mission editor the INS pre-aligned option. Next, we can uncage our backup ADI. Left click here. Next, we can turn on our radar altimeter. Smell scroll wheel upwards here and set whatever feet you want the warning set at, 500 feet, say. Currently says it off, but it will warm up and then go on. Next, we need to change our wing sweep. Now, if we're on a carrier, we're going to leave them in oversweep until we set up on the catapult. But as we're on an airfield with plenty of space, we are going to move them forward now. So our wing sweep cover up, which is already up. Move, left click and drag to the 68 degree position and wait 10 seconds. Move the stick all the way forwards and then right click down and take the cover down. Press the master reset, left click, then press the wing sweep auto, Let's just show that, wing sweep auto mode on, check that we're auto here and the wings go forward to the fully forward position, check visually, okay, so that whatever lights we need, so it's going to depend obviously on our situation, so I'm just going to have today, uh, what should I have, position, bright wing and tail, and to power up the ARC 159 radio, right click to the both, the default position, power up the TACAN, right click to the transmit receive position, quick check on our INS progress, so you can see we're about 40% of the way through the INS alignment. Next uh, we don't need our external air or power anymore, so let's get rid of that, comms menu, ground crew, ground air supply, disconnect. Disconnect ground air supply. Ground air is off. Disconnect the ground power. Chief, turn off the ground power. Ground power is off. 
radar altimeter ready to go. Okay, checking on the progress of the INS system. You can see it's just completed its alignment. We're going to sit and wait for Jester now. All right, ready to taxi. Jester's finished his part of the deal. All we're going to do now is parking brake in with a left click. Nose wheel steering on with nose wheel steering with button. We get this little guy saying that nose wheel steering is engaged, and we're good to go. Note that there is a stamp red standby flag on the altimeter at the moment. I have asked about that, and apparently it's just a bug at the time of making this video, March 2019. Hope that helps, and see you later.